Well, well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Twerton Park for this evening's National League South fixture between Bath City and Sly Time. My name's Andrew Kerslake, and alongside me I have the enigmatic punditry of Michael Powell. Good evening, Michael. Oh, very good evening to you, Andrew. Both the teams out on the pitch now, so, Michael, let's run through the two lineups. Well, I certainly will do. I'll start with the hosts, Bath City. One change for them from Saturday, as Andrew's alluded to, Tom Smith. Back in the starting lineup, Dave Sims Burgess dropping to the bench. I think it's going to be a 4 3 3. Ryan Clark in goal. Back four of Eddie Jones, Jordan Dyer, Jack Batten, and Zach Delaney. Midfield three of Tom Smith, Joe Raines, and Elliot Freer. And a front three of Ryan Jones, Cody Cook, and Alex Fletcher on the bench for Bath City. Omar Holness, Will Fuller, Dan Ball, Callum Rowe, and Dave Sims Burgess. For Slough Town, I think it's going to be. Potentially 4-3-3 for them too. It's Jonathan North in goal. A back four of Josh Jackman, Edon Pruti, Lee Togwell and Freddie Grant, who was, of course, at Bath City last season. Midfield three of George Hunt, Scott Davis and Curtis Cumberbatch. And a front three of Ben Harris, Alfonso Tenconi and Imran Kayani. On the bench for Slough, Mark Nisbet, Tyler Goodrum, Sean Fraser and Manny Williams, just four on the Rebels bench this evening. Will be Bath City to get us underway. Tom Smith standing over the ball in the centre circle. As both sets of players take the knee ahead of kickoff. And a good round of applause from the Twerton Park crowd, which is still filling up this evening, Andrew. Yeah, obviously tends to be fewer midweek. Um, I don't think we'll hit the thousand mark tonight. Michael Powell and Andrew Kerslake with you on Bath City Radio this evening as Eddie Jones picks it up midway inside the slow half. Here's a chance for him to get forward. Inside to Smith. Looks to turn away, then plays it in behind for Jones to the byline. Crosses half blocked and then cleared away by Pruti. Delaney picks it up on the halfway line. Steps away from one. And plays it out to Freer on the Bath City left. 20 yards out, looking to take on Cumberbatch. Cross is deflected and then turned behind by Togwell for the first corner of the evening. Man here on a permanent deal after joining in the summer. Drives it in. Headed up rather than away. Still alive in the area. Jones nods it back inside. Reigns now with it 20 yards out. Slightly heavy touch. Slough can look to come forward. It's well played by Kayani as he drives forward up over the halfway line. Jones goes back all the way with him. And then Delaney gets to the loose ball first. Excellent backtrack in there by Ryan Jones and Bath City can look to come forward with Freer just inside the slow half. Lays it back to Reigns. Now out to Jones. Eddie Jones on the Bath City right. Going to cross in from deep. It's headed away by Pruti. Delaney's there to intercept again ahead of Kayani. And then Fletcher does well to get there ahead of Togwell. Still with Fletcher inside the area. And the referee is going to pull it back for a free kick after Fletcher was pulled. And I'd say that was good refereeing. Anyway, Freer will take the free kick. Drives it in. North punches it away. Smith will collect it on the far side. Swings in across. It's to the back post. It's still alive in the area. And it's somehow scrambled off the line. Fletcher couldn't get a clean contact. Reigns' shot was blocked. Barsity still on the front foot with Freer. And then he runs into trouble and now Kayani can look to break he's got Tenconi ahead of him instead plays it inside to Hunt the pass was just slightly behind him and Ryan Jones can intercept but this game has got a really good tempo to it and now Fletcher can look to come forward on the Bath City left up against Jackman just to cut inside to the edge of the areas Flick though goes up astray and Slough Town can look to clear their lines with Togwell although he blasts it against Fletcher out for a Slough Town throw in Plays it down the line for Smith, who's onside to the byline. Gets his cross in. Fletcher completely miscues the effort, though, and Slautow can clear through Pruti, but Bar City on top at the moment. Cook with the flick on. Fletcher with another flick on. Smith will get to the loose ball by the corner flag. Tries to play it inside. Ball ricochets back to him. It's a nice point to Cook on the edge of the area. Drives to the byline. Cook pulls the cross back. Cumberbatch heads it. As far as Freer on the edge of the area, he took it off the toes of Reigns. Bar City still have it with Smith. Squirter Reigns midway inside the Bar City half. 
Out to Delaney on the left and a bit of space inside to Smith. Crosses deflected off the back of a defender and Fletcher will let it run behind for another Bath City corner kick. Will be an outswinger with his left foot. Drives it into the area, headed away by Harris. Back to the corner taker who will get there ahead of Tenconi but then he's dispossessed by the Slough striker. Into Keani on the halfway line. It's a sliding challenge by Jones. Keani gets away from him. And then the referee pulls it back for a free kick. Yeah, I think the ref there did the right thing. Tried to see if any advantage was going to accrue to Sly. It wasn't. Unfortunately, though, it looks like he's going to... Just wanting a word, or is he... No, the yellow card is out. Yeah, the yellow card's out, all right. And it's going to be a, it's a free kick inside Sly's half that Pruti blasts forward. It's nodded on and picked up by Tenconi on the edge of the area. Lays it out to Jackman, who goes down, gets back to his feet. And appeals for handball, digs that across. Reigns is able to head it away. Fletcher gets the red out of the hunt, but the loose ball well, did drop to Davis, but he's miscontrolled there. Fletcher can steal in, not to drive forward. He's somewhat isolated at the moment, but he still has it, Fletcher. And then he looks to cut inside, gets a touch off hunt. This is third of the evening. And whipped in again. It's headed goalwards by Reigns. It's off the line. It's still in the area, and North can claim it just ahead of Fletcher. It was an excellent rise by Joe Reigns, I think it was originally, and I think it might have been Curtis Cumberbatch on the goal line who headed it away. Cumberbatch who turns it over the top first time. Delaney is beaten in the air by Keane, and it will come to Harris wide right. He's got Batten out of position here. Harris to cut inside and bend a shot, which is narrowly over the crossbar. Excellent effort from Ben Harris. Ryan Clark was at full stretch, but it landed on the roof of the net rather than in it. That was, that was a, a punishing shot. That's North kick under pressure. It was only as far as Reigns. Back to Delaney on the halfway line. Switches it to his opposite fullback, Eddie Jones. Midway inside the slow half. Going to cross in. Fletcher with the header. And North tips it over the crossbar. Well, you have to say they're going close, aren't they? Anyway, here's Ryan Jones to deliver the free kick into the area. Headed away by Pruti, only as far as Reigns. Volleys it out to Jones in space on the right-hand side. We'll get there first. Back to his namesake, Ryan. Makes a skip in between two, does well. Then pulls it back to Smith, in space. Smith deflected and narrowly wide of the post. Well, we talked about Tom Smith getting a goal. Boy, does he need one. And that one looked to be heading to the top right-hand corner of North's net before it was deflected over the crossbar. Cumberbatch then plays it over the top first time and finds Keanu in a little bit of space. Checks inside. And there's a first time effort from about 30 yards from Jackman, but it's not troubling Clark. But it still remains goalless. There's Reigns with it on the halfway line. To Jones, now inside to Smith. Runs away from him. Freer is alert to pick up the loose ball though. Into Reigns, who skips away from a couple. Then plays it forward into Cook. And the offside flag is up against the Bar City striker. And he might be relieved because he tried to bring it under control and didn't do so. Had that not been offside and had the ball been in the net, that would have been a goal to dribble over for weeks to come. Joe Reigns doing really well on this side. Great pass forward for Cook, just marginally offside. Well, Cook's down, going to get a bit of treatment. Dave Sims Burgess is stripped and ready. No, that's a massive blow for Bar City. Scored 17 this season. Cody Cook scored on Saturday. Fruity nods it back away from Fletcher, but only as far as Smith. So cross in first time. It comes to Burgess. Oh, it's a superb save by North. What a first touch that would have been from Sims Burgess. Acrobatic effort and an excellent save from the slow town keeper. Wow, is all I can say. Brilliant cross and a first time volley from Sims Burgess that, well, so deserved a goal. They are probably wondering how they're not ahead, and I think it's credit to Slough Town's last line defending as Smith plays it forward. Fletcher is on side here in the left hand side to the byline, pulls it across goal, and Grant can clear it. Comes to Reigns 25 yards out. Lays it to Freer to the byline, stands up across, comes to Smith! And it's turned over the crossbar, could have gone anywhere off Pruti. It goes over the crossbar. Bar City still knocking on the door. They still can't find the breakthrough. Well, anybody who's criticised City and criticised their performance, I hope they're here this evening because 
OK, there's no goals, but this is a top-of-the-table style performance. Some City cries come out from the terraces. Freer loops it in. It's headed away. Batten on the edge of the area. Comes to Reigns, and he doesn't quite get hold of it. Goes over North crossbar. It's had everything but a goal, hasn't it? Yeah. But a performance to relish. Prutti takes the free kick long. Comes through to Ryan Jones, who's on clearance. Ricketts off the back at Harris going in, and it's going to be a penalty to Slough Town. Dyer with a high foot. Harris stuck his head in there, and the referee has pointed to the penalty spot. And having dominated this first half, Bar City could find themselves behind. I think that's so unfortunate. Did the foot look that high? Oh, Harris was stooping, wasn't he? Yeah. It always makes it look higher. His foot was down. You fancy this is going to be the Clark's right-hand side. Scott Davis up against Clark. It's Davis into the back of the net. It's an excellently taken penalty. 60 seconds before the interval. Slowtown take the lead at Twerton Park. They've been on the back foot for 44 minutes. Their goal has lived a charmed life, but they find themselves in front. It's hard to comment on such disappointment. This has been a five-star performance from City so far this half. They've peppered the slow goal, dominated, as you've just said, Michael, and then to concede a chancy penalty. Lays it out to Tanconi on the left. And then Jones gets a foot in and Batten can wallop it clear up towards the halfway line. And with that, the referee blows the half-time whistle. Bath City nil, Slough Town won. And quite frankly, we're not quite sure how. Bar City on the front foot, goal mouth scramble. Then there was one cleared off the line from Jackman after Reigns' header. Then an excellent effort by Fletcher, tipped over by North. There was then one from Smith, which deflected inches wide of the post after fantastic defending by Pruti before Sims Burgess's first touch after coming off the bench for the injured Cook. Speculative effort was brilliantly saved by North. And then on the stroke of half-time, Jordan Dyer adjudged to a foul Ben Harris. Scott Davis ruthlessly put the penalty home. We're about to get underway here in the second half. Twerton Park. Alfonso Tanconi over it for the Rebels. We get underway a long diagonal, which Delaney will see out. Here's Jones with the free kick. Comes to Smith, blocked by Jackman. Comes to Freer on the left. Crosses in, it's cleared away by Davis. And as far as Ryan Jones, 30 yards out, slides it into Sims Burgess inside the area. Layoff deflects off Jackman behind for a corner kick. Freer to take this latest corner kick. Drives it in. Half cleared as far as Ryan Jones. Lays it back to Freer. To the byline. Crosses in. Comes to Batten with an acrobatic effort, but that one's over the bar. Headed away by Nisbet. But only as far as Reigns in the centre circle. Square to Fletcher, who's slightly deeper. Out now to Ryan Jones on the right. He's got Eddie Jones making an overlapping run. Said cuts inside. Goes for a shot. Deflected and narrowly wide of the post. Out for another Bar City corner kick. Reigns is going to line up a long throw from deep here. Launches it into the area. It's really long. Met by Pruti. Jones heads it back inside. Batten helps on to Smith in the area. Ear kick. And then it's cleared by Harris. And as far as Jones, although loose ball is picked up by Cumberbatch, who is tripped by Ryan Jones, and he will be the fourth man in the referee's notebook. Goes in field to Smith. That's with Ryan Jones in the centre circle. Bar City looking to get back on level terms. He's found free and the offside flag stays down on the left-hand side. Swings in across from him. It's Burgess. It's an excellent save. Nisbet puts it behind for a corner kick. It's a stunning save by Jonathan North. But Dave Sims Burgess really should have buried that one. Yeah, unfortunately, it was right at the keeper. He did the right thing in heading it down. But uh, North did superbly well to collect. Reigns takes the throw short and quick on this occasion to Sims Burgess. Back to Reigns. Now with Jones. Looks to dig in across. That's well headed away by Nisbet. It's going to come to Freer and it's blocked by Jackman behind for another corner kick. Nisbet underneath it. Loose ball breaks to Sims Burgess. Back to Reigns. Plays it out to Eddie Jones on the right hand side in space. Still with Jones up towards the edge of the area. Crosses in. 
Fletcher shot is blocked. Still Fletcher inside the area. Breaks to Reigns. Hits Hunt. And North does really well to gather under pressure from Fletcher. As North goes long out of hand. Delaney wins the header. Breaks to Jones in the centre circle. Over the top for Fletcher to chase after. But North will come out to the end oh. of his area to gather. And then rather needlessly bundles into the goalkeeper. Take the throw. Goes short to Goodrum. Then crosses in. It flicks off Delaney. Tenconi plays it into the area. It's headed more across than out by Dyer. It's still alive in the area. Eventually drops to Harris, who skewed his shot wide of the post. Out for a goal kick. A couple of slow players want a penalty. There's a bit of argy-bargy in there, but it's just going to be a goal kick. Elliot Freer to take it. An out swinger once again. Most of them have been. Delivers it in. It's headed in, and it's a turned over by North. It was straight down the middle of the goal, but it was another important save by the slow stopper. Well, if Sly do get away with this result, I would imagine that uh, Underwood and Baker, the joint management, will be congratulating North on his performance this evening. Freer delivers a corner again. This one flicks off a couple of players. And then eventually Fraser can clear up field. Jones nods it back forward. Reigns helps it on its way. Peels for offside. Smith nods it out, though, to Freer. There's no flag. Freer flashes in across, and it's off the post. It's Dyer arriving from deep. North that time was beaten, rooted to the spot. And still Bar City can't find a goal. It's inches away on this occasion. Well, it's got the crowd going here, but that, that just unbelievably looked as if it was just going to creep into the corner of the goal, flicked off the post. Reigns on the halfway line. Forward to Fletcher, tries to turn away from... Pruti does well. Flick back does just about come to Ryan Jones. He's closed down. Nice ball in the area. Sims Burgess is in there. It's defended and cleared by Nisbet. Only as far as Freer on the left. Freer strides in across. Sims Burgess trying to get in there. It's headed away. 13 minutes to go at Twerton Park. 13 minutes for Bath City to find a leveller. Smith now Sims Burgess on the right hand side midway inside the slow half up against Grant up, still Sims Burgess to the byline drives in across and it's deflected narrowly wide it was Pruti who got the foot in once again it could have gone anywhere and it went into the side net in much to the relief of the slow town centre half Batten, Sims Burgess, Fletcher Reigns, Dyer free are all in the area as it swung in Arriving is Fletcher, and it's turned in. Bar City finally get the goal their players deserve. Alex Fletcher has it. And with 12 minutes to go at Tourton Park, it's Bar City 1, Slough Town 1, corner 16, finally comes up trumps for Bar City. And there's almost something beautifully ironic about that goal, because after all the fine playing football, the great crosses, the acrobatic saves from North, it's a little tapping that actually brings City level. 1-1, 12 minutes to go. Can City press forward and get all three points? It would be nothing less than they deserve. Headed back forwards. Jackman batting away, flicks over the top. Fraser wins the header. Good run inside into Tenconi in space. That's a superb save by Clark. It's still alive and on the follow-up, it's batting with a block. Bar City for the first time this evening were opened up and their goalkeeper came to the rescue high towards the far post takes a flick of a Bar City man comes to Hunt plays it back in still in the area it's Jackman on the turn it's blocked and the loose ball breaks to Fretcher and Jones can clear up towards the halfway line where it's slightly misjudged by Fraser in the end Fraser does well and can set Hunt forward he's got Tenconi and Goodrum ahead of him still with Hunt lays it out to Cumberbatch on the left in the apex of the area up against Jones twisting and turning inside still Cumberbatch and Eventually, Dyer is able to stop him in his tracks. But since Barca had equalised, we've seen Slough Town in an attacking sense for the first time, and they've had a couple of moments of danger. As Bar City now can come forward, it's with Delaney. Brings it up over the halfway line, out to Freer on the left-hand side, up against Jackman. Freer to the byline. Cross to Flex off Jackman behind for Bar City's 17th corner kick. Reigns will indeed launch this one into the box. Grant can half clear. And then Tenconi calmly plays it back to him. Ball forward, picks out Goodrum, and he's 
one on one here against Delaney. Goodrum trying to twist and turn. He's got the break of the ball, comes back to Goodrum. And Jones does really well to get back and get a foot in. Bar City were very, very exposed. Freer just about keeps it in. Inside to Sims Burgess, back to Freer. He's onside to the byline, crosses in. It's going to come to Smith, 20 yards out. Smith finds room for the shot, but a couple of yards over North Crossbar. It's been a very, very good Bar City performance. Headed forward by Dyer. Fletcher chasing, we'll get to the loose ball first. Plays it across goal, but straight to North, who can comfortably save at his near post. It's going to be four minutes added on at the end of this one. Tyler Goodrum going out there. Goodrum gets to the loose ball first. Slautang finishing on the front foot, still with the substitute. Looking to skip to the byline. And then it's put out of play by Reigns for a corner kick. Can they nick a late winner? Reigns hurls it into the area. It comes to the edge of the box of Jones. It's picked up by Cumberbatch. And in fact, there is still more time. It's, it's driving forward. Lays it to Grant. Now on to Tanconi. The amber shirts are flying forward. It's good run with it. He's bundled over by Smith. It will be a free kick to slow Town, And it looks like there's going to be time to take it as Tom Smith gets his name taken in the referee's notebook. Scott Davis is standing over it. There's nobody in the area. It's going to be a shot. It is Davis. It's over the wall. It's over the crossbar. And with that, the referee blows the full-time whistle. Finishes here at Twerton Park. Bath City won. Slough Town won. The Romans dominated for the entire 90 minutes. And somehow, Andrew, they've only come away with a point. It's hard really to know what to say after that because it isn't just a domination. I mean, there have been cracking shots, wonderful saves from North, the ball blocked on the line. It's been a consummate City performance, probably the best I've seen this season. And uh, to come away with a draw somehow feels like a defeat. It's not, they've played extremely well. And uh, I just hope that those near 700 supporters that were here tonight recognise the performance that they've put in because uh, they've given everything that Jerry Gill could hope for this afternoon. The one thing you do hope is that there isn't an injury to Cody Cook because they will definitely need him in these closing games. Yeah, you talked about the supporters there. I'm sure they will because they've seen an excellent performance on their side. We we talked about it, didn't we? There was some excellent saves by Jonathan North. He was outstanding, particularly from Dave Sims Burgess's first touch. There was some brilliant defending, a couple of last ditch blocks, one deflected wide of the post, one cleared off the line. Jordan Dyer hit the post. It looked for a while like Bath City were going to do anything but score. They did 12 minutes from time through Alex Fletcher. It is the first time that Bath City have taken anything from a match this season when they conceded the first goal. And it's not like they're short of positives tonight, but just from a confidence and a mentality point of view, is that important? Because if they concede the first goal in another game now, then tonight is proof they still can get themselves back into games. And also, they do have the advantage of another home game on Saturday. If you weren't here, you've missed a treat. You can have one on Saturday instead, because as we said, the Bar City are at home to Hemel Hempstead. That's all from us this evening, Bar City. Drawing one all with Slough Town. So much promise for the Romans, so much attack, so much possession, so much territory, so many chances. Goal line blocks, it had everything. Eventually, after the sucker punch they were dealt just before the interval with Scott Davis's penalty, they did get themselves back on level terms through Alex Thatcher. I'm Andrew and myself, thank you very much for listening in the evening. This evening, we'll be back on Saturday, but in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your week.